Today, uh, we're going to be doing the burp suites, the basics. Last video, I did HTTP in detail, so I think it's just fitting to continue on this path and keep going down. We're going to go ahead and uh, start the attack box. It looks like we need one here, and it looks like we need to start the machine too. Okay, so task one, it basically just tells you what we're going over. It's really just going to be a basic overview of burp suite uh, it looks like it prepares you for future rooms complete that one out task number two in task number two it just tells you what burp suite it is and tells you the different versions that you can buy looks like there's a professional and an enterprise one that costs money uh, but for now we're just going to use the free version because it has all the features we need for this task the answer to number one should be the burp suite community edition Yep. Which edition of Burp Suite runs on a server and provides constant scanning of target web apps? So right here, you can see that the Burp Suite Enterprise targets web apps for vulnerabilities. So that looks like that's going to be the answer. So Enterprise. Right up here, uh, it can also be used for mobile applications. So that should be the answer, just mobile. Moving on to task number three. Task number three is basically just an extension of task number two. Which burp suite feature allows us to intercept requests between ourselves and the target? And it's going to be proxy right here. You can see that it intercepts and modifies requests. Which burp suite tool would we use if we wanted to brute force a login form? Right here, intruder. It's used for brute force attacks. Task number four is if you're installing Burp Suite on your personal computer or virtual machine. I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be using the attack box that already has it installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip this step. Task number five, the dashboard getting started. We're gonna have to open it here. Just go to applications, web, and it's gonna be the first one, Burp Suite Community Edition. But after Burp Suite has loaded, uh, just go ahead and hit next. You don't have to do anything here. Just use the temporary product or project and then do the Burp defaults. But task number five also has no questions. Task number six also has no questions. There's a ribbon bar up here that shows you all the features that it has when you click on one. There's also shortcuts. We're going to complete that one out. But task number seven, it does have questions. Change the burp suite theme to dark mode. To find this, there's a search bar in the settings. So you can just hit dark uh, and it goes straight to display. And we'll just change that to dark. So we'll complete that one out. In which category can you find reference to a cookie jar? Go back to the settings search bar. Look up cookie jar. It looks like it's in the sessions category. In which base category can you find the up? update subcategory which controls the burp suite update behavior just look up update here it's looking for the suites right here and what is the name of the subcategory which allows you to change the key bindings it's usually hotkey is the term and it looks like that's the answer if you have uploaded client side tls certificates can we override these on a per project basis uh looks like we can so we're gonna go ahead and put a on that one Task number eight, it basically just goes over the, the proxy tab right here. Which button would we choose to send an intercepted request to the target in Burp proxy? The request will hang, uh, so you have to forward or drop the request. Looks like the, the amount of stars is the same for forward. What is the default keybind for this? Go back to Burp Suite, go to the settings, and we can type in hotkeys. Forward intercepted proxy message with control plus F. Control the plus sign and an F. Task number nine, we're basically gonna go ahead and start using proxy. We click on the little fox up here and go over to options. We're gonna click add and the title is gonna be burp. The proxy IP is gonna be 127.001 and the port is 8080. To activate it, click back on the fox and then click on the burp here. In your burp suite, make sure the intercept is on. Okay, and then over here in try hack me, it tells you a website to go to copy that and go back to firefox as soon as you copy and paste it and go uh you'll notice that nothing loads the request is going to be hanging in burp suite it won't go anywhere until you forward the request there's one useful option that allows you to intercept and modify the response to find that it's under action here and it's going to be do intercept and this is the answer right here is response to this request there's also a bonus question on this one. It's just telling you to install Foxy Proxy Standard and have a look at the pattern matching features, uh, which I'm not gonna do. That's task number nine, on to task number 10. It also doesn't have any questions. It's basically saying if you go to a secure web page, it will give you an error. And that's because you need to allow the certain certificate authority. So it tells you the process to do that. That's if you're doing it on your own local machine. 
or your own virtual machine. But if you're using Try Hack Me's, it should already be set up. Okay, so task number 11 also doesn't have any questions, but it does tell you to do something. So we're gonna go ahead and just do that one. We'll go ahead and copy this. And it says using the built-in browser. So we're gonna go over to Burp Suite, open a browser here. It tells you that error will pop up. To enable this, if you go to your settings right here and go over to project, you can go to Burp's browser and then just checkbox this uh, to run without a sandbox. And that should allow you to open up the browser here. We'll just go ahead and paste that IP in there. And then obviously it's not gonna load because it's waiting to forward or drop the request. So we'll go ahead and complete that one out and move on to task number 12. The first thing, you need to go back to Burp Suite. Once you're in Burp Suite, uh, go over to the target ribbon tab and then right click right in here and then add to scope. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and hit yes. To add this IP to our scope, we're gonna go over to scope settings once you're in the target tab. We're gonna go add, and then we're gonna go ahead and add this IP that we had in the last task. So now that's gonna be there and exit out of the settings here. And then it's telling you to go back to proxy, proxy settings. Once you're in the proxy settings, make sure you scroll down. You wanna go past the request and go to the response. Make sure that one is set to the, the last option and URL is in target scope that's going to be all the settings for task number 12 there so we can complete that out and go to task number 13. i had to go back to proxy turn intercept off and then turn it back on and i went to firefox and disabled the foxy proxy and then i opened a new browser and went to the same ip address so now uh everything is right if i go back here this is the only ip here i had to click here enabled show only in scope items apply and now we only get this one which is exactly what we want for task number 13 uh the first question is visit this ip in your browser which is this one right here and it basically says look through it and you're looking for a flag in the response section so th that's what we're going to be doing here in the response we're going to be going through all these and looking for some type of flag after a little bit of searching i went through all these tabs right here and forward all the requests i ended up getting this one right here this url which it looks like this is the answer right here the last question on task number 13 what is the typical severity of a vulnerability javascript dependency so it looks like that's going to be in the issues definition list so if you go over here go to target the issue definitions will be right here Okay, so if we click on name, you can uh, sort it by alphabetical. And then if we scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a vulnerable JavaScript dependency. So it looks like that's the one right there. And then it asks for the severity level, so that's gonna be low. Task number 14, it looks like we're actually gonna be submitting a request and modifying it. So it tells us to go to the ticket. So we'll go to our intercepted browser here, and we'll go to the support. And it won't load because we gotta forward that. So we'll go back to proxy and we'll forward that. And now it wants us to type in a random email. It gives us one, but you can type anything. Uh, so we'll complete that, complete that. Looks like it wants us to do this pen tester email. And then for the, the query, we can put test attack. Submit that, that's gonna bring it into our burp suite program here. And the email right here, it wants us to copy this and paste this script uh, in there. Copy everything after the equal sign and before the and symbol. Uh, and then go ahead and paste that script and then you can complete that that little subtask out and then it looks like you can press forward from here so go ahead and forward that packet okay and then we're gonna forward that packet one more time and there we go uh we get that little alert box that says successful xss so we'll complete that out and there's no questions for this one so we can complete that one out too and task number 15 is conclusion and that's going to conclude everything that's burp suite that's just really the basic guide to it i think there's more advanced ones in try hack me so i will get to those eventually but if this helped you guys at all or you guys like this content make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe thank you guys for watching